तो हे वाच वगैरह एन पी एस रेडी एंड वेलकम बैक अ न्यू थ्री डी पैरल स्लाइड शो एनिमेशन इन साइड आफ्टर इफेक्ट विदाउट एनी थर्ड पार्टी प्लग इन सो इन टूडे स्टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप्स ऑफ थ्री डी पैरल स्लाइड शो एनिमेशन विद आफ्टर इफेक्ट सो दिस टाइम आई वॉल सीरियसली से वन थिंग दिस इज वेरी 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 इजी टूटोरियल सो डोंट वरी there are some step how to get parallel and i will also show you how to create this transition from one sort to another sort and also i will show you a simple method how you can create light leaks inside after effect and all thing without any third party plugin all right so let's get started so first make a new composition 1920 by 1080 or if you want to make 4k so you can choose your resolution but this time 1080p and 30 frame per second or 24 it's up to you so drag your footage like this one and just call this this import this one i like this one so duplicate this just rename this footage and just control press d and duplicate and this will be our main or you can say focus right so just draw a simple mask where your object almost where is your object just like this or you can make simple for this person but this is our object main focus area so like here right so focus and footage right all done if you could call this optics compensation and just check the reverse lens distortion and just in the very beginning of this composition just add a keyframe on field of view and go to the 5 second almost 5 second or 6 second 6 second let's choose 5 second all right so increase this so you can see the fix our distortion there are happening some distortion in my pic my picture so add almost here 56 or just type 56 right and just apply one more effect call this cc lens right and go to the very beginning and just Type here is 500. And just add a keyframe on size and go to the five second. And here I will just decrease this, so you can see something happening. So press U, and when we'll see these keyframes, both keyframes, go right click and go to the keyframe assistant and just choose easy. is or press f9 right and my home is almost near the public road so here is too much noise so let's see the final result or right, you can see but still looks flat because our main pics are not moving right and for cre and for creating parallel animation there are a lot of tricks but this is very fast and very easy and i will also make a second video where i will show you a second method but this looks cool so just add a camera and 35 mm is good hit okay and just uh, make both layers 3d right and just now add a camera animation a and shift p i just add a camera animation and go to the 5 second and our position will be go like this right and we will select this keyframe and just easy easy and just uncheck the point of interest right here and just alt and click here I mean just alt and click here 
and just add uh, expression v girl. I mean point nine comma twelve. I just close this. So let's see. Right. So it looks cool, right? So this is very simple and very easy method to create something 3D parallel animation like this, right? So switch to the half resolution. And now this is done and now let's add a text animation. So I will just click on text and type here to the beautiful ideas right and make also this text 3d alright and just press P and move them almost here right and just add a, a text effect on here just EVA apply this preset text preset on this text layer and if I will solo this layer so you can see the animation of this text layer and if I press U so I can see the keyframe of this animation of text so I can drag it here so this will stay after this will disappear right so looks so cool right so our first step is completed let's see the final look in half resolution all right so you can see looks really right so now the next step is creating a transition between two short so this is our comp 6 so let's control s to save this and just duplicate this comp control d comp and just open this comp and now let's change this footage with any footage just like this sip so select this footage and press alt and just drag another footage and it will be replaced in with all effect and setting and also for this above one all right so all done so let's check the preview once again for this one and you can rename this clean slide slow slide so and you can also scale down it right here right so let's check the preview all right so you can see this looks like 3d right so now all done so let's move to the light leak so create a new comp and we will just rename this light leak 2 and just create a new solid and we will just make comp size and we will call this fracture noise right go to the effect and control and apply effect fractal noise on this layer and just invert this and soft linear or spline good and change to the fractal type dynamic right looks or uh, you can choose dynamic progressive dynamic looks good and we will adjust the context and brightness so turn down the brightness like this and contrast like this brightness like this and sub transform and scale this almost like this and just add a press 
alt and click on the evaluation and apply just type here time star 300 or maybe 350 or 250 and you can see this look bad because this is not light leak so now just go to the complexity and press 1 and now you can see something looks good alright and we can adjust always to make like these types of light leaks right so this look this look cool and I am happy so now let's apply a effect called this hue and saturation and just click on the colorized and you can see this color so saturation you can increase or and you can also add a hue so press 0 and go to the very beginning and add a key on a stopwatch and go to the 50 second and just make it 4 so you can see the color will be changed on every single light legs so looks good now let's create a final composite shot right and just drag our 6 and the 7th layer right and I think my animation is only on 5 seconds so I will select this both layer and press add and close bracket and now let's make it here oh, almost here right all done almost so here where the another shot will be appear so select this comp 6 and add the effect called this linear Y right and in any direction where you want to close and open the second shot so I, in this one I use this shot will be go up and the second will be come from below so 180 and just add a transition and here this will be 100 right so but it looks very sharp so just increase the feeder like this so you can see right so now we will add a light legs on a verb and just press F4 and just add this so you can see but this is very light so down the opacity and make it 56 looks good right so now the next part is adding uh, some particles so I use particles from video copilot and it's 100% free so let's import this particle and scale this uh, like fit to comp you can right click transform and fit to comp right go to the effect and control and just add the curse effect and make it all black and just only see the particles and just choose the blending mode to add or screen right and put this behind the light leaks or top of light leaks but this one i use behind i mean below the light leaks right so all done almost so press on and just add a create a new solid and maybe 900 or just press 88 three times of it and just click ok and choose the blending mode to stencil alpha and now looks good and you can also add some color collection but this looks good so I'm not going to do that and here when this item will be appear so what you can do just press P and add a keyframe and go to the bottom 
and make this sort almost here and same for this 7 press P and this will be main picture will be here and here this will be from up like this so boom you can see and select all this keyframe and just easy is in right so let's see the final animation of all sort go to the half and just you can also add some motion blur with cc force motion blur with effect so it looks cool but I'm not going to do that because my system is not so heavy so let's play in a half resolution and see our result what we made all right so you can see in half resolution so looks very cool and transition looks also cool and some particles make this sort looks good and also light like so let's play with music all right so you can see this looks perfect and i will definitely make a, another slide slow tutorial 3d slide slow tutorial and that time i will use a different pencil so i think this looks cool and i hope you like this tutorial and make sure subscribe this channel for more update and thanks for supporting me thanks for loving me i am nps 3d and we will see you next time with another great tutorial so that's it for now that's it I will see you next time.